Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to cover the topic of setting up a uh, follow me vehicle to take that Harrier to the runway via a radio menu. So it's a bit of a culmination of different things that we've learned so far, but I'll show you how I set that up in the mission editor now. And back into the mission editor. So how did I set all this up? Well, first of all, I had to input the follow me vehicle and I gave it a load of waypoints. And the waypoints take it out towards runway 24 and then they stop at the air traffic control center there at waypoint 9. It's the APC 1025 Humvee. I'm using a skin that's downloadable, which is airfield operations. And for each waypoint, I set it to 15 kilometers per hour. It seems about a reasonable speed for a, a follow me vehicle, uh, not too slow and not too fast. The only thing to bear in mind is each time this vehicle gets to a waypoint, it's going to slow down. So you've got to watch out for that when you're following it. So that's the vehicle setup. Quite simple, straightforward. Then I placed the AV8B in a slot. Box standard slot, just set it up how I wanted it and called it Harrier 1 and then named the pilot Harrier 1 as well. So that was the placement of the, um, the, the relevant vehicles. Everything else is a static. Now I'll take you through the way I set up the triggers step by step. Right, my first step was to add a radio item for the Harrier. That was the one for the Gazelle the other day. This is the new one for the Harrier. So again, I selected radio item add for group. The group concerned was Harrier 1. And the name of that radio menu message will be ready to taxi. That was flag 1 yesterday. This is flag 2 today. It's just so you don't get a confliction, essentially. And always keep that at value 1. So that's the radio menu item set up. I also wanted to incorporate sounds and messages again. So... I then created this trigger, which is a once only action. I called it ready to taxi ground crew with no event. I said that since flag two was activated, after one second of activation, I want this message to go out, which is from my aircraft to the ground crew. Call sign for the aircraft, I give him Cobra one. So I say Cobra one set, ready to taxi. At the same time, I added a sound file, which kind of mimics exactly what's said in the message to the coalition. The next step was to create a ground crew response to that request to taxi. This time, again, flag two, six seconds later, message to coalition, and it states, Roger, follow me to active 2-4 and created the same type of sound file again. This next trigger was set up to activate the follow me vehicle because its initial starting point was a hold and the stop condition for that hold was flag 3. It's just so that he doesn't set off before I want him to set off. So to do that, what I did was um, call this one ground crew start, which is basically set the, the follow me vehicle off. I then selected time since flag. So time since flag two, which was the radio menu, was 10 seconds. I then said, turn flag three on, because that's the one that turned the vehicle hold situation off. I'll just show you that. In here in advanced waypoints, at waypoint zero, its starting point, I put in a perform task and set it to hold. The stop condition for that, I then selected and set it up as user flag three. So essentially when user flag three gets triggered, 
that vehicle stops being on hold and starts its waypoint. And finally, what I did was I created a zone, and I'll just show you where that zone is. And I called it 24 right. Basically what I wanted to happen is when the follow me vehicle gets into that zone, I want it to send another message out saying turn right for active 24. So to be able to do that, I created this trigger, a once only action, called it right for 24 with no event. What I said was if the follow me vehicle is in a specific zone, i.e. that zone there, then it will produce a visual message and throw out a sound at the same time. So I selected unit inside zone, the unit was called follow me, and the actual zone is called 24 right, as per here. I then created a message to group. The group that I wanted the message to go to is obviously the Harrier one, which would be me in the cockpit. It's coming from follow me, and I've just written in there, Cobra 1, turn right for 2-4. I've then also incorporated a sound to all, selected it, and it's ready to run. So let me take you into the mission now and show you how all that works. And here we are back in the cockpit. And what I'll do is I'll let the follow me vehicle know that I'm ready to taxi. We'll open up the menu. F10 other, ready to taxi. Cobra 1 set, ready to taxi. Roger, follow me to Aston 24. But why not, young lady? I won't show you the whole taxi. That would bore you witless, so I'll break it down into various sections. The one thing you do need to remember when you're following these vehicles is that when they get to a waypoint change, they will slow down, so just watch out for that. And we should be shortly receiving a message telling us to turn on to 2-4. Copper 1. Turn right for active 2-4. Uh, roger, splodger. So now we've got the follow me vehicle to take us to the runway. We can now take off and we're sorted. So that's the end of the video. I hope that was useful. You'll be welcome back any time, so thanks for watching. Bye now.